Hi, Erica from Aloft here, and today we're taking a look at small airports located in Class G uncontrolled airspace. First, the answer is yes, you can fly your drone near small airports in uncontrolled airspace without an FAA authorization. Only airports located in Class A, B, C, D, and E2 controlled airspace require Lance authorizations to operate near or around. Many smaller municipal, regional, and executive airports around the country are located in Class G uncontrolled airspace, meaning you do not need a Lance authorization to operate near or around them. Some small airports Airports are located in Class E controlled airspace but do not require prior authorization in order to operate near them since the controlled airspace starts at 700 feet AGL. There are multiple types of Class E airspace, only one of which, Class E2, requires authorization in order to operate from the surface to 400 feet AGL. Always check the FAA's Before You Fly app or Before You Fly on the web for specific information about the airspace you plan to operate in. Now let's take a look closer at the different types of airspace in a few different airports. First, navigate to beforeyoufly.aloft.ai or open the Before You Fly app. Then, when you're looking at the map on the Before You Fly platform, you'll see gray airplane icons indicating an airport at that designated location, as we can see here in the Napa area. If an airport is located in controlled airspace, the airplane icon will be surrounded by a colored circle indicating what class of airspace it is. Looking at the map for the Napa, California area around KAPC, you will see the airplane icon and that the area surrounding it is colored in a light blue in a five mile radius to indicate that it is in Class D controlled airspace. So you will need a lance authorization to operate in any of the locations within this light blue circle surrounding KAPC because it is in Class D controlled airspace. Looking further outside of Class D airspace, there are also two airplane icons on the map as seen here. When you click near them, on the right hand column, airspace advisory information for each appears. These two airports are Sonoma Sky Park and Sonoma Valley Airport. Both are operational public use aerodromes. You'll see unlike KAPC, Sonoma Sky Park and Sonoma Valley do not have colored circles surrounding them. This is because they are located in Class G uncontrolled airspace and do not require an operator to have an FAA authorization to operate a drone up to 400 feet AGL. When you are located in uncontrolled airspace on the Before You Fly platform, you will see a clear for takeoff green box in the advisory bar information. This means you're clear to fly without the need for an FAA authorization. I hope that you now understand that small airports in Class G uncontrolled airspace and all types of Class E, excluding Class E2 controlled airspace, do not require FAA authorization for drone operations up to 400 feet AGL. The Before You Fly platform provides an essential tool for all U.S. drone operators to access for free real-time airspace data to ensure that the desired operation location is safe and FAA compliant before taking off. If you haven't already, I encourage encourage you to download the Before You Fly app or check out Before You Fly on the web at beforeyoufly.aloft.ai to start planning your next UAS operation. As always, fly safe and fly often.